Today, we're back with another product preview as we open elite first off the line football with 2023 rookies and their NFL uniforms. Try to catch me howling at the moon. That's not something you see every day, but only at trade night. This is Trevor Lawrence. How are we doing? Oh, this is out of this world. Today is definitely the craziest day ever at a car show. A lot of time ahead and a lot of opportunity. To make this play special every day so all right what's going on youtube card collector 2 coming at you here with a brand new video and today we are back for another product preview this time 2023 elite first off the line football and this will be the first product of the year we've ripped with nfl rookies completely in their nfl uniform now i know many of you are going to say ryan there are rookie patch autos and an NFL uniform in Legacy. And that is very, very true. That's very cool that Panini did that. Those are actually in college uniform. So the Anthony Richardson Legacy rookie is in a Florida jersey. The CJ Stroud Legacy rookie is in an Ohio State jersey. These ones should be NFL uniforms. So you're going to have the pen pals. You're going to have the turn of the century. You're going to have a bunch of different stuff to look for in here, but they're going to be NFL uniforms completely. So I'm excited to get into this, excited to see what we can pull. Now, I've got two different sides of the box up here. This, because they're flip-flopped. Uh, but this one says, Pen Pal feature on-card autographs from the hottest rookies. Kind of. Uh, look for aspirations and status parallels number to 99 or less. You can see the first off-the-line sticker right there. You get two autographs, one memorabilia per box. But again, we, we've talked about this many, many times. We've ripped Elite almost, I think, every single year we've had this channel. Elite is one of the cool products because you're looking for rookies, inserts, parallels, things that are not autographed or jersey to be able to make some of the money back. So a bonus card in this, I think it's numbered to like 11 or 20, uh, but the FOTL parallel, that's the non-auto, that's going to give you a chance to make some money back. You hit a uh, Tom Brady, Patrick Mahomes, whoever it may be, out of 11, well that, that adds value with not being an autograph or a jersey. Right? You had a numbered C.J. Stroud rookie. You had a numbered Anthony Richardson, Jameer Gibbs, Jackson, whoever it may be. Again, just potential to make money back and not just like a Panini 1 or a Topps Dynasty. Those things are one card, two cards, three cards, whatever it may be. NT football, what, 10 cards a box? If you're not hitting a, a major hit, like it just it makes uh, the odds of making the money back much, much slimmer. So a little bit more opportunity here to make, make the money back. But... Won't, uh, won't keep warning you guys with that. Again, the auto parallel in this is either going to be a black gold auto short print or a pen pals auto, or I'm sorry, pen pals auto would be a gold ink. Or you're going to have a turn of the century rookie auto uh, numbered to 25. So I pr typically prefer the pen pals just with the on card auto. I think I'd prefer that, but kind of open to either. All right, uh, so first up, we got a little Tank Bigsby rookie right off the rip here. Just a quick look at some of the uh, the base parallels. You got a little Miles Garrett, Drake London, Scary Terry, and then a little Cooper Cup. So, nice generic start. Uh, let's see if we can heat up a little bit here. All right, well, numbered card right off the rip and a little filler. So 69 of 149, a little Justin Herbert red. Big year for that guy. Got to really uh, get something done, I think. Jared Goff, a little, uh, little scratch there. Aiden Hutchinson, Kenneth Walker, Damian Pierce. Let's see if that's going to continue with the card on top. It is. Brian Breezy, a little scratched up. We have a Pen Pals Auto, but it's not, I'll save it, it's not the uh, bonus auto. The bonus auto is black, that's like a, that's the white parallel. That's just your standard. It could be a different colored ink, uh, like red, purple, green, black, blue, I'm not sure all the colors, um, but that is nothing, that is not the card we're looking for, like the FOTL bonus. Little Jameer Gibbs rookie, Joy B, you know I love pulling that. Uh, Mike Evans, Devonta Smith, Stephon Diggs. All right. Well, again, with these boxes, going to be a lot of packs here. It's a cool-looking parallel. little field level with the link. 
sign in the back there. Lincoln Financial, 222 of 349. Jalen Hurts insert. Fred Warner, Tony Pollard. I think a big year for Tony Pollard. I've been seeing him go pretty high in fantasy drafts, and I, I think Tony Pollard is going to have a pretty solid year. Speaking of solid years, hoping that guy's got one for sure. As we're on the conversation of uh, successful years, this guy is as good as it gets. Kirk Cousins, Devontae. I think Garrett Wilson could be in for a big year. Am I crazy? You know, you guys know. I'm not. It's tough for me as a Patriots fan to pull for Garrett Wilson. Just there's our bonus. No one. Ooh. Little uh. Little green. Little green blue maybe. Green blue being Seattle. Jackson Smith and Jigba. Zach Charbonnet. Devon Witherspoon. I think. Uh. I think that's what the Seahawks took with that first pick, right? Like five or six range. I think it was Devon Witherspoon. But, yeah, rooting for uh, Garrett Wilson as a Jets hater. He's just so good. I saw him at Ohio State for so long. I just I can tell you what he's capable of. It's it's crazy. So, I think he's in for a big year. But it's going to be tough because I've got some cool Garrett Wilson stuff. This might be our bonus. One of 11. One of 11, Patrick Sertan. Wife and I started watching Hard Knocks and Sauce is on there. And, you know, Reg doesn't keep up with football. But, I'm like, yeah, you know, Sauce Gardner, probably top three corner in the league already. He's, he's got to be up there. And I'm like, I think this guy's one. I, I think Sertan's up there. I like Denzel Ward a lot. Um, there's a couple other guys. But to me, I, I think Sertan's probably in the conversation right now for 1A or 1B. What do you guys think? Agree? Disagree? Who else would you put up there? I think Denzel's probably in the conversation. Michael O. Wilson, 399. Michael Wilson, 399. Not necessarily the Cardinal we're looking for. I saw Kyler is going to start on the pup. So if he starts on the uh, the pup list, that's going to make. It's going to add some desire to Clayton Toon cards or Josh Dobbs. That's all one of those two will start. A little spellbound, low numbered. Who is this? Is that Jay Jettis? Please be Jay Jettis. Hey, that's actually really cool. These low-numbered uh, elite spellbound parallels actually sell okay. Like, out of 99, Jay Jettas is probably, like, $20 card, I would imagine. So, I do also, like, shout-out to Panini for this. They put which letter it actually is. So, if there's two different Fs, like, you know which one's which. I think that, I do think that is cool. Tyreek, Josh Allen, Stafford, Christian Kirk. All right. So probably not a ton left to really look for here. Numbered? But that's actually solid too. Again, this this just kind of speaks to the point I talked about earlier with, you know, the ability to make money back on things that are not hits per se. Right? You've already hit the bonus out of 11. The auto's sitting right there. Both autos are sitting right there. We don't have a jersey, but a Josh Allen 99, again, probably another $20 bill. So you had a Jay Jettas, Elite Spellbound, popular set, popular player. Boom, 20 bucks. Josh Allen, popular set, Aspirations, popular player, numbered out of 100 or less. Maybe 15, maybe 12, but still, even at $12 a piece, it's $25 on the box. Like, it's not amazing, and I understand that, but something is better than nothing, and that's just the way I look at it. Uh, Josh Allen, Elitist. Some of the base cards, a little, uh, little scuffed. This is thick. This is thick, thick. I wonder if it's anything special. Nope, just a filler. Interesting. Andrew Thomas, high line. Isn't he a lineman? Interesting. Filler. Parsons, one of the best defensive players in the league. Dude is an animal. Uh, Emmanuel Forbes, 291 of 399. Not a guy I know a ton about. 399. Okay. Crosby, Sam Howe. What do you guys think? Sam Howe going to be any good? Oh, a couple guys that really like him. Chris Olave, Playmakers, go Bucks. A lot of young QBs. 
going to be interesting to see who steps up. There we go. Another stud receiver, a Monra, 373 of 399. A lot of 399 parallels. Thankfully, our our out of 99 so far have actually been pretty pretty solid. You know, Josh Allen and Justin Jefferson's it's pretty good. Marvin Mims in our ooh Marvin Mims destroyed Marvin Mims. I don't even see that. You guys see that? The card is ruined. Literally trash. Our jersey, George Pickens. 242 of 375. Little NFL craftsman. Aaron Rodgers, Jets, Jay Jettas. All right, last pack before we get into the autographs. I've got one more box. Derek Henry. Elite deck. Derrick Henry, Chase, Thielen, Tucker, and Dalvin. All right, we'll do the other pen pals first, the non-bonus. Uh, oh, I thought it was another top. I moved the order. Well, that's terrible. Michael Wilson, not who we're after. Not ideal. Nothing good to say. He doesn't sell. Maybe he will. Maybe he'll do something, but I don't think the Cardinals will be good. I, I honestly think they're going to be one of the bottom three teams in the league. I do not think the Cardinals care about this year. I think they have two top five or ten picks next year. They have the Cardinal or the Texans pick. They traded when the Texans moved up to take Will Anderson at three. So if the Texans aren't very good, I don't expect them to be great. It's probably a top ten pick. The Cardinals are going to have two top ten picks in a loaded draft class. Drake May, Penix, Caleb Williams, Bo Nix, uh, Marvin Harrison Jr. There's some real talent next year. I think the Cardinals are in rebuild mode. So... I don't expect them to do a whole lot this year. Little Brian Breesy from Clemson, 999, just a standard rookie. And then our bonus. Now, this should be the second card. Texans. Oh, it's, it can't be Stroud, right? Oh, Will Anderson? No, it is. It is the Seahawks. I was right originally. It looked like the Texans from there. You guys, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it looks like the side of the Texans logo. I think it's Charbonnet. It is. That's actually cool. I do I do think Charbonnet is going to be good. I think he's going to take some of Kenneth Walker's minutes. I really do. They took him pretty high. I've talked about him before. I think Charbonnet is going to be pretty good. 12 of 25. Little uh, gold ink auto. A couple more base. All right. Not the worst. Not the worst box. Not the best box by any, any stretch of the imagination. Hoping for a little AR-15, Anthony Richardson, a little uh, Bijan, my guy Jackson. Um, yeah, anything, anything solid. Top five, top ten guys. I've seen even some of the other, like, lesser QBs. Like, what's the guy? I forget his name. Tyson Banget? I have no idea how to pronounce it. I'm sure you guys will smoke me in the chat, rightfully so, but... The kid that's the backup for the Bears, I think he was a D2 kid. That kid is, have you seen what some of his stuff sells for? I saw it on like Twitter the other day. Uh, some of his like sales from like Leaf Autos doing like hundreds of dollars. Jay Jettas with a uh, dinged corner. Thankfully just like a cheap insert. But I'm like crazy what some of those guys Crazy what some of those guys sell for. Ooh, wow, low numbered. Who is this? Drew Sanders, one of three. I don't know who this kid is, but one of three Drew Sanders? All right. Not who I would have preferred, but it's out of three. All right, Quentin Johnston. Rookie on deck. It's going to be really, really curious. Obviously, I'm biased with just Jackson being a Buckeye, and I saw what he did in the Rose Bowl. Like, dude's as good as advertised. But Tay Flowers, Jordan Addison, Quentin Johnson, those guys are all in positions to do well. A little 2 a 299 of 349. Right? You've got, you know, Jordan Addison's, I think, going to end up being the number two in Minnesota. I don't know if, I mean, Osborne's there, but Thielen's gone. Quentin Johnson has. Herbert throwing him the ball. Zay Flowers with Lamar. I think a lot of those guys, speaking of Lamar, well, Trey Tucker at a 999. I think a lot of those guys, those top four receivers, are going to have an opportunity to play and be impactful 
from uh, from day one. So number to three seventy five on the Lamar. So I uh, it's gonna be interesting. Like, will the will the rookie QBs be able to win enough games to win rookie of the year? Will Bijan matter enough? This card is smoked. Big scratch here. Big old ding. Sick. Will the rookie QBs matter enough to win? Will Bijan get enough? I think Bijan will be amazing. Um, will somebody else get it? Like, I would assume one of the three QBs, Bijan, or one of the four wide receivers, it's probably your best eight odds, right? Romeo dudes. So, who's going to win it? I think I've said it before, but I think Jalen Carter's the defensive rookie of the year. I think he's going to be unstoppable. I think he's going to do really, really well, and I think he slipped because of his off-the-field stuff. Um, 399, but I think he's think he's as good as advertised. Couple base. I'll see if you guys have time. I think you guys have seen most of the base at this point. It's not a very deep checklist. So like, oh, it's low number too. It's green. Jack Campbell. That's actually probably not bad. Iowa kid, and you guys know how I feel about Iowa. If you watch the Prism Draft, you know all about it. Iowa. This could be good. Iowa sells. You guys know from the videos over the years how much I feel, uh, how, like what I feel about Iowa. They always sell. They don't have a pro team. 18 of 46. Status. That's not one of the bonus cards though. That's just a status parallel. But probably decent base. So we've hit the bonus. If I would assume one of three is the bonus parallel. Unless it's not. J Ward. All right, here's an auto, but it's not, I'll save it, but it's not the bonus. That's an orange turn of the century auto. So that makes me think it's like a turn of the century, just like an out of 49 instead of like 299. Here we go. Bryce Young. First one. Got so many piles here, I'm getting them mixed up. Mac Jones, speaking of Mac Jones, that Bailey Zappi getting released and Malik Cunningham. I mean, my guy Bill just just winging it. I mean, it's, it's always in Bill we trust, but my guy really said we only need one QB. I'm assuming he's going to wait on wa waivers, but I saw that and I'm like, what are we doing? Bailey Zappi went 2-0 and last year as a starter when Mac went down. Malik Cunningham looked good in preseason. Like, we can't keep one of them? But Bill's always making decisions. You're like, hmm, that's interesting, but... That just life as a Patriots fan. Hey, oh wow, five of ten. That's really nice. Bijan Robinson, rookie on deck. We'll take that for sure. That one will do. Five of ten. Jersey number. Didn't even notice that at first. I thought it was eight. Five of ten. Bijan, rookie on deck. Blue. We like to see that. Kid is going to be really, really good. Really, really good. Really, really quickly. I think he's going to get meaningful minutes. No, wow. Really solid. I wish it was Mahomes, but again, these spellbounds, a little soft corner there, not too bad. These spellbounds do well. And out of 25 of the best tight end in football by a mile, Chiefs player just can't go wrong. So Travis Kelsey out of 25. Very nice. Back to back. And again, that just speaks to the argument I've always said. The ability to pull other numbered cards, non-hits, to make money back, it matters. It helps a, with a product like this. There's base, a little Herbert insert, nothing exciting. One of these three packs should have something good in it. Well, a bonus parallel. Not sure something good is necessarily required. Uh, Makai Blackman, 149 on the red. Base, won't well, even waste your time. C.J. Stroud. Coleridge Bernard the fourth. Coleridge Stroud. Coleridge Bernard Stroud the fourth. I think it's his full name. Hope he's good. That's all that matters. Hope he's good. Base. Last pack. Should it be in here? Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Josh Downs. Do you imagine if that was Anthony Richardson? I mean, come on. You expected it to be Anthony Richardson, and instead, it's Josh Downs. Josh Downs. That is going to happen this year. 
with Anthony Richardson being the guy where a lot of us will be chasing, just with him being the big QB that signed, um, Josh Downs is probably going to let a lot of people down this year, for sure. Quinn Johnson, though, not bad. Base at a 999. couple base cards. All right, last auto. Shout out to those of you who made it this far. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and you want to see more product. I know there's a lot of product releasing this week. Probably going to see a little bit more rank, uh, ramping up here as the season gets closer. If you want to see anything, let us know what you want to see ripped. But leave a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. Always help the channel. So I appreciate you guys for sure. All right, there it is. It's a rookie. Maybe Saints colors? What is that? Jets? Saints? Who we got? What on earth is that? Saints? Andre Miller? A.T. Perry. Oh, that's terrible. Not A.T. Perry. Yikes. Ugh. That's no good. I think the best card in the box was the dang B. John Robinson 5 of 10. It's probably the best card. I mean, Josh Downs doesn't sell too bad, but A.T. Perry? Not for me. Charbonnet, uh, Kelsey Jefferson, and B. John. That's probably the highlights for me on that one. Shout out to those of you that made it this far. Stay tuned, guys. More cool card content coming very soon. That's all I got for now. Peace, guys.